Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of our Star Lord of the Rim Wars playthrough. When we last left off, we were recovering from that uh, rather rough uh, mechanoid invasion here. Honestly, if it wasn't for these accolades showing up when they did, we would. There's no way we would have survived at all. And you know what? I am going to. Am I going to? Yeah, I'll build one more. I mean, we only lost one, so I guess it makes sense to replace the one we lost. Uh, this has some water in it. That's good. Not enough, by the looks of things. So, this is actually connected to our our whole system, right? Pretty sure it is. It should be connected. Let's uh, just do a quick... Yeah, it's all hooked up. Yeah. All right, so everything is mostly connected and okay. God, we need we need more people who are focused on construction. So with that in mind, I might actually bump up the priority for construction on some of our some of our people. Just a little bit. Anyway, but yeah, also Gundalf may lose his hand here. I mean, 82, 66, so the gap is shrinking. I, I hope I don't have to amputate his hand. Actually, do we? No, we have like a bionic eye lying around here somewhere, but not a bionic hand. Okay, let's also... Um, Yeah, let's uh, install some more. More uh, beds here. And by beds, I mean uh, sleeping bags for now. Someday I'm going to have a proper jail cell in here, but uh, that time is not going to be for a while. I did also chuck. Uh, yeah, Birdie is no longer here. The hole is inactive. I mean, I guess I could fill the hole in now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go do that because I, I don't really care about getting more Kafonians right now. I mean, they'd be nice, but it's not my top priority. Like, I feel like we've got bigger concerns. How is everyone's mood, anyway? It's, it's kind of okay. Honestly, I should almost just take these guys traveling just for the sake of... Uh, of uh, making them a little happier here. There's a lot of dirt. A lot of cleaning needs to get done. We're dangerously low on food by the looks of it. Uh, probably gonna need to do some more hunting. Or uh, harvesting of mushrooms and other things. So let's uh, let's make sure we're staying on top of that. God, it's like one step forward, two steps back. Oh yeah, and we are just like straight up out of meat. Votto can hear human cries from below as he shovels into the pit. You'd figure this pit would just fill itself in, but okay. Uh, more human cries. That would be Birdie down there, I guess. Though you hear human cries even when there's no humans down there, or at least no humans we know about. No humans that we checked down there. Yeah. Well, goodbye, uh, birdie. Nice knowing you. You were... Oh yeah, you were one of those dicks from uh, the agency. Which, actually, now that I think about it, agency investigators, a dick was a slang term for a private investigator. So it's not even a, it's not even a, uh, an expletive or other, uh, you know, unkind word or whatever. Oh my God, you're a Sith. Hmm, 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 more force users. Yes, I want you. I want all of you. Oh, you've lost a thumb. Oh, and you're menopausal. Oh, that's cool. In in a fa in a matter of speaking, in a fashion. Slept in the cold. Oh yeah, we probably need to get a heater in here. 
What about the rest of you? Are see, I gotta, I gotta keep an eye on this. Do we have any more? No more force users. Okay, that's. It's a bit sad, but uh, life is okay. We are gonna be able to potentially recruit some folks now. I should probably have like two of these heaters set up, shouldn't I? And when it comes to power, there we are, there's our invisible conduit. Yeah, I'll just kind of drag it over here, like so. Wall, and then just regular conduit that will go over to here. That should be fine. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, cancel these, build a copy here, and we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll have it go up like, that should be far enough to reach that, so it's all good, basically, is what I'm getting at here. I mean, everything is mostly good. All right, Max said something about practicing romance. All right, let's engage. We'll trade. Where is that, uh, where's that young uh, Sifling? Sif... Lordess, Sif Lady, Sif... Sif a something that we want to recruit to our cause. Oh boy, I'm gonna need to seriously up my game on building houses, because we are seriously lacking in that department. Let's see here. We've got plenty of medicine, don't need any of that right now. Good on that. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I probably want to throw away some of these weapons here. Mostly the poor quality stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna have to buy something now, if I, uh... I mean, you, you have something useful that I would want to buy, don't you? I mean, I guess I'll buy some medicine from you, and I guess I'll buy some stew. Still got a lot of luciferium, apparently. I didn't realize I had so much lying around. Someone must have dropped it when I wasn't paying attention. Oh. The Black Bow. Bow is rumored to be the primary weapon of the warlord known as Torvald, who unified the various raider and mercenary companies into the modern mega guild that it currently is today. It's likely that Torvald well, had many of these bows made for his use. If this is an original or a counterfeit made during that era is unknown. However it was made, was lost to the ages, however, it is understood that it was made from some kind of polymer consisting of both plast uh, plasteel and a rare type of blackwood. Hence its name, the Blackwood Bow, or simply the Black Bow. The front of the bow has been edged so as to allow the user to slash at and fight off attackers who come close to its wielder. Although useful in combat, the exterior blades make stringing the bow an exceedingly dangerous and difficult maneuver. Interesting. Cool. Alright, so I guess we're not selling quite as much, or I can, like, not buy that. Alright, there we go. That worked out nicely at the end of the day, so... Good. Actually, I'll keep this here for now. We'll kinda get on top of that later. Also, I've noticed apparently I can't just reinstall these uh, ebony pews for whatever reason, so that's a touch unfortunate. Alright, Bado is trying to recruit people, that's good. Uh, Sennis is checking up on Benazir. I say, said a word about getting drunk. Okay, so it's like, hey, you know, you'll be fine, buddy, and when you get better, we'll, uh, we'll go drinking together. Or something like that. Let's see, 9384. Okay, yeah, this is, um... This is almost definitely not happening. So, basically I wasted some... the medicine on this. So at this point, we very definitely need to... Okay, so just off of his hand, okay. Damn. Damn and blast. Oh yeah, there's, there's Iris. Iris, join us, please. Do you want to join us? Maybe? No? Not- does not like enough of our colonists. Okay, so we need to get... Uh... Oh, have you been knocked out already? No, you're just... Yeah. In a not good spot. Okay. Yeah, operate on, uh... Poor Gundelf. 
I just like put a simple stump there. Oh, goody. Send his promised patience to Timo and asked him to join. Timo's accepted and joined. Excellent. So you used to be anti-cultist, but now... Do we have a Webley revolver lying around here somewhere? I think the answer to that question is no. You're actually good at shooting. You're passionate about it, so... Now that much is good. I don't... I don't see any uh, Webley revolvers around here. So, we'll have to... Uh... There were some guns lying around here, though. Alright, I mean, here is a revolver. It's not a Webley, but it'll... It'll have to do. Alright, so, Timo here. Uh, you're ugly. Uh, that's unfortunate. Great memory. I mean, he's passionate about animals and mining. So I think what I'm going to do with you, my good man, is... Well, first of all, Timo, I'm gonna... You are kind of not the, not the prettiest fellow to look at, which is unfortunate for you. I mean, the unibrow, that's, that's what does it. And I say that because I know, I know myself and I kind of got an eye on my own eyebrow because it could turn into a unibrow if I didn't carefully, carefully maintain my appearance. Yeah. There's something you now know about gaming by Gaslight. Should I have shared that much? Probably not. But I did, it's out there. And now you can picture me with a giant unibrow if you like. I'd rather if you didn't, but if, uh... No, if you do, then I guess you do. Not a great cook. Not really a great hunter. Not a great fisher. So yeah, you're gonna mostly mine, and when you're not mining, I would like you to do some... Falling and cleaning, and when you're not doing that, you can research. You have no intellectual ability, but if I have you sit around doing it enough, then yeah, should eventually get there. Oh, actually, you know what? It occurs to me. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that because I just commented on like the ugliness of this character and made fun of his eyebrows. So um, yeah, renaming them now after someone's suggestion feels like that would be just just horribly horribly ill timed. Whoever we next uh, recruit can be renamed, so Timo can stay as Timo. Alright, let's check in with Gundalf. It looks like he's up and about again, so I guess he managed to uh, slip off uh, that infection after all. That was really, really close. Like, close enough that I am not going to... Next time I'm just going to... I'm just going to chop the arm off just to be safe. Anyway, also, as for our, uh... Alright, so she's got to be friends with at least four people. So, basically... Can you not, uh, interact with her? Apparently not. They're not leaving, are they? Did I miss my chance? Oh, no. I missed my chance, didn't I? Nope. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, when you're done... And we, uh, I want another force sensitive in my, in my colony, dang it. Not gonna happen though, is it? Oh well, I can dream. I mean, that's all we have in life at the end of the day, isn't it? It is our dreams. Also, Gundalf, when you're done, you mind uh, cleaning up the dirt around here? That'd be great. And then, let's uninstall this. Oh yeah, where is, uh, young, young Ryan, our new recruit? Where is he sleeping? I guess here. So, uh, you know, there's, I think there's a mod that separates, uh, repair work from building work, and I should totally look that up, find it, and use it. Because... Oh no. Why can't I grow here? Ox, ah, it's mud. Okay, so with terraforming, uh, mud from soil, soil from mud. Do I, do I actually need anything? No, I just need to do a bit of work, okay. 
I'll have uh, Ryan work on these things, our young, our young lad. All right. So Ryan, this is your room now. There may be other rooms, but you have to sleep outside for the time being. I, I hope you don't mind. How is your construction anyway? Probably not that great. Eh, it's only a two. He's not even passionate about it. Ryan. Ryan, yeah, get rid of the, get rid of the Webley. Don't need that. Okay. All right, good. So now we can at least close it in. Be good. Uh, let's see. Actually, if I... Oh, we don't have enough wood. We never have enough wood. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But at least he's passionate. I mean, he's not particularly skilled, but he's passionate. So that's, uh, that's something we can work with. And we can start making some progress here. Which is all I could ask for at this particular moment in time. Also, yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, I want to harvest, like, all of this. Get it all out of here. Gosh, just so much, so much that needs to get done. I should, um, I actually downloaded the Prison Labor mod. I haven't, I haven't added it yet. Mostly just because since uh, we have been having some slowdown and stuff, I figure I want to be very cautious adding more mods at this point. Lest, lest the game break under the weight of all of this. Though I think it'll be mostly okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. So, I mean, how is this? I mean, three or four friends. Okay. Uh, so who do we need? I mean, anyone who's not one of these people. Gundalf. Alright, let's uh, get Gundalf to work at this. Gundalf, what are you doing? You're busy researching. You can't talk to her right now. Okay. No! Damn it. I mean, he left some un- or she left some unfertile- or unfertilized wolf chicken eggs. That's cool. And a bit of royal jet. Ooh. How much mod changed the graphics of that? I like it. I like it, though. Like, it's not just, like, yeah, it looks much more appealing. Wolf chicken eggs. Interesting. Interesting stuff. What's going on with, uh... Miriam here? Is there a reason why I can't tender? Like, I should be able to tend to her. Oh, it's because she's asleep. Alright, so if I change this to a medical bed, I should be able to say, hey. Oh, for the love of all that's good and holy. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. All right, Gundelf, uh... Yeah, rescue Miriam, please. Who's she bonded to, anyway? To Belle. Okay, Gundelf, can you, uh... What are you- what are you doing? Like, we do have food in this, uh, colony, do we not? Yeah, like, I should be able to feed that to her. Something. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, Gundelf. Um, change of plans. Or wait, is, what is Sparrow doing? Okay, good. Sparrow is on the job. Am I- are we seriously just leaving this stuff lying here? Like, come on, people. <laughs> oh, God. I need to recruit, like, just a few people whose only job is hauling. Like, uh, Natsuki here, our dragon hunter. Yeah, I could do that. I mean, she does have some skills, but and she's really passionate about research, so maybe what I'll do is get her to, like, haul and clean. Well, she's old as well, so maybe it's not- wouldn't be fair to make her, uh, going around hauling and cleaning everything. But I could do it. The point I am getting at here. It also occurs to me, uh, let's see, let's, uh, murder a couple of- well, I guess it's not murder. 
We're doing it for a very specific reason. We'll take out a couple of alpacas for their meat. We can keep cooking meals here because apparently, yeah, we are running a little low. And that is not good. Dang, I'm mad we missed out on our chance to recruit a new force sensitive though. Most unfortunate. Most, most unfortunate. Han. Hauling steel to heater, which I guess we don't really need that anymore, so let's uh focus on chopping some of these trees. What is Bell doing? You're hauling steel to a gas lamp. Uh, you know what? I guess that is kind of important. Alright, I'll just have Han focus on chopping down all these trees. Well, if I... If I am able to click correctly, anyway. Yeah, just queue up chopping these all down. Jolly good. We've got all this ambrosia lying around. Okay, good. Miriam is okay again. Jolly good. And also just in time to wrap this episode up. So, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.